hello there welcome in new series where i will teach you how to make uh, your own sort of animated movie or at least how to make one scene would say we will do something with this spidey boy and this environment well you can keep calm you will not have to model everything yourself that would take tons of time because in this particular video i will show you uh, and where you can get uh, these nice assets for free and you can even most of them use for commercial license if you want it for some reason to sell your movies to netflix of course you can you definitely can if it is good enough which i believe it will you can sell it to anyone you just want maybe amazon <laughs> so let's get to it first thing we need to do is to get some assets which will help us create our environment so for that i would recommend you to check out downloadable environments which is folder or collection as it is called here on Sketchfab and you can search it and find something interesting for you. All the links will be of course in the description but if you don't want to bother with creating your uh, your own environment I will put there even link to my G-Disk, Google Disk where you can find environment that I will create for this scene which I will use for next parts of tutorial. So I will give you a few good tips for, of course they are good, I give only good tips <laughs> for buildings or assets which you can use. First I would recommend you definitely use this one, it's a New York City building and on this I can demonstrate what you need to be aware of if you are downloading it. Firstly it must be downloadable, which, me, which is exactly why we are using for the downloadable environments. And other thing you need to uh, be aware of uh, is poly count, which means amount of triangles and amount of verticals. Also, if there is written compatible with Unity and Unreal Engine, it probably will work quite nicely. But what, uh, why do we need to take care of this? Because in a lot of cases, uh, people on SketchUp upload uh, just photo scans or 3D scans, which means that you have quite a nice model like this one which looks awesome right everyone everybody would uh, like to have it there but it has no oh, this one is actually not that bad <laughs> uh, 100k polygons or triangles in this case which sort of sucks honestly because it would be very uh, very heavy on s our system if we had like ten, you know, even only 10 walls like this a blender would start to have uh, problems and it will run slow which we definitely don't want you can also check it by clicking on model inspector and wireframe if you can see this it was definitely scanned with a 3d scanner or uh, done by photogrammetry which means they just took uh, photos of it and put it together but in the opposite if you use if you could look at this you can see that it was made by hand which means that this wonderful guy david bunch miller uh, created it from scratch in uh, some 3d software also i don't i cannot forget shout out to all these wonderful people who are creating assets that we can use for that because we simply wouldn't have time to create them that uh, in that case the tutorial series would take just like <laughs> hours or maybe weeks honestly well another one pretty interesting is this one which is called just building very original art circle but still i love you thank you for that <laughs> Another one I will use primary as base is on different side, it, it's on Turbo Squid, which we all know, I hope, and that's called 3D City Alley model. You can look how it looks. It's not very detailed, it's actually quite low poly, which may be helpful for us because we are not aiming for AAA quality right now. And the most important thing is that it's pretty huge. It will give us a lot of diversity for creating it. So what I will do, I will use this uh, city alley and put some buildings from here into it. So quick thing, I forgot to show you how to download it, but that's pretty simple, right? You know how to do it. Uh, so I will just tell you the, what format you should use. And honestly, in most cases, it will be better to use original format. In this case, DAE. I hope that I did it correctly. <laughs> and 
make sure that you read this outro must be credited which what i'm doing just now i'm crediting him but if you credit him you can use it even for commercial use very important thing always read this all right now when you have downloaded all your beautiful assets let's put them together and create some nice scene so i will click on blender delete as you can see <laughs> delete the basic cube which is absolutely not unnecessary but i just did it without thinking honestly <laughs> but trust me you will do it too that's just our blender list deformation it's basically illness but, but we don't tell about that to doctor so let's import it and we had used day i still don't know how to read it uh, find where you are uh, find where you have downloaded it but there is a little trick I I am using you find it on your folder and now just bring it here this will put you exactly on that location but uh, you need to be smarter than me because you cannot open uh, a Windows file in there so you open it and every time it uh, if you download it from Sketchfab it creates textures and sources source I don't think you need to take uh, you need to take care of textures because textures will be yep exactly even here oh come on stop looking at me that what you just saw was well thumbnails I'm not very good with them <laughs> so right I have imported it and what uh, it was made in SketchUp Jesus Christ in nomine patris et filii et spiritus et sancte amen it was just quick exorcism because uh, SketchUp. <laughs> That's just another 3D software. So we will need to apply some textures on it and it jumped there automatically. That's just wonderful. It sometimes doesn't work, but in this case it worked quite nice. Worked quite nicely. That's good. It was probably because it was in the same folder and everything was named properly. So let's try if we can do it again. Let's import our second building, which I again need to extrude. Stop being so stupid, mate. Source, model. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. I will buy with other ones. I swear. No, never, never. <laughs> right, model and model DAE. And as you can see, it's scaled though differently than it than was the first one so i will click s and scale it up and in this case it seems like our textures didn't work as they should so let's click on oh, of course this was probably created with 3ds max because it was rendered with v-ray as you can see here which means that our textures didn't just jump on it. So I'm afraid that we will have to manually put them there. Honestly, in most cases, this is just trying it out. But uh, you can use very useful add-on. Let's go to preferences, add-ons, and write there node no, node wrangler and make sure that you have it switch it on because with this you can just click on our principal bsdf and wait a minute let me switch this on for you so you can see what i am put, uh, what i'm pressing uh, which buttons i'm pressing and let's click on Control shift d yeah, clicked on principal bsdf and control shift t now you can go to those materials and select all the materials we need it so let's say that it will be five this is basically try and hope to be lucky <laughs> but you will be able to download it from me so you don't need to i will have to find the right materials so let's select all the materials that, ha that are connected with five and connect them and as you can see it was wasn't right it was very badly actually so let's try to see where it will fit and as you can see we are starting to put it right so if you are downloading assets it's quite possible that you will have 
uh, to str struggle through the through this assigning texture. Sometimes it just switch like this. Usually when it was created in Blender, uh, it will be easier like this. But if it was created in other package, in other 3D package, you may have to struggle with it. But but you will figure it out. Or you can download the. 3D scene that I will create for you if you want to follow it just as I did. So as you can see I really used so as you can see I really used that 3D scene uh, that street scene I was talking about let's wait a minute before it loads textures and here we go we got our nice street we will have this file free to download everywhere Everywhere means in com in uh, description of my video. <laughs> All right then, that will be everything for this video. I think. No, oh, I'm pretty sure actually. So if you wanna see how this series will continue, you will have a new video next week where you will be uh, where we will create. Uh, we will we won't create it. We will steal it as real artists, of course. <laughs> You will steal some Spider-Man model, quickly rig it, and blend together some wonderful animations for our movie. So that would be about it. Thank you for watching, and see you later.